to kick is usually I have a microphone on the inside of it. Kick in mic is going to be generally a dynamic mic, either this is a Beta 52, we use this, or a D112. But the main thing is they're all dynamic mics, which means they're going to be able to handle the volume that this super loud drum is going to be able to put out. So we'll start out with, with a Beta 52 on this. Um, the closer you get, get the microphone to the beater head, the side where the, where the beater actually hits the plastic head, um, the closer you get to that, the more attack you're going to have. You're going to have um, a lot more of the slap of the kick drum and less of the, the low end woof. Um, so this mic is going to be, we're going to try to balance that out a little bit. We don't want it all attack, we don't want it all woof. Uh, we're going to try to get it somewhere in the middle there. I usually start about halfway down or maybe a little bit further out and um, pointed not quite at the beater on the other side, uh, maybe just a little bit off of that. If you point it right at the beater, you may get a real harsh kind of basketball sound. So, slide it in there. Going to make sure we're not touching any of the porthole here. That can kind of rattle. And get it roughly in place. We'll try this out. If we don't like it, we can always move it later. Um, and it's easier to move a microphone than it is to try to EQ it and make it sound better. Um, so, from here, I'm about halfway down the drum, pointed just off the beater, and hopefully that'll work for us. So, this mic inside is going to have a great attack, um, going to have what we need there, but it's probably not going to have all the low end we want, so we're going to use something on the outside. Um, that can be a few different types of mics, anything from large diaphragm to mic to something like this, which is this is a homemade sub kick. It's just a speaker wired in reverse, and it's it's a speaker for low end, which means it's going to pick up pretty much only the low end, which works well for us because there's not much high frequency coming off the outside of this drum. So I'm just going to slide it out here in the middle. Sounds a little bit deeper, right? Maybe over in here. Yeah, hopefully we'll be able to balance these two mics, get all the attack or most of our attack from this, and then get our nice body and low end out of this guy, um, and we'll have. Two, two faders in there to be able to balance between them, kind of finalize our sound after the fact. Mm -hmm.